Hello. In this lesson, we're going to find the center of a mass in a 1D system. So there you see, we have the number line here uh, with the origin at zero and four discrete mass values. Uh, those mass values with their distances are given to the right of this system. So again, the goal is to find the center of mass. So that is the point at which the system will be in equilibrium. In other words, where's the point? That will make the system in balance. So you can think of this as a um, as a seesaw, and you want to know where to place the fulcrum to make this in balance. So the formula in the notes, I go through and derive this formula that you see here, um, which is which we're going to denote as x bar. So x bar is basically it's the uh, the total it's the uh, total moment divided by the total mass. All right. So first, let's find the total moment, okay? And that is just basically taking the sums of you're taking the mass value at each point and multiplying it with its respective distance from the origin. And then you're doing that for each point and then taking the sum of those values, okay? So for the total moment, okay, all right, so for the first mass, you have seven kilograms which which is located a distance of three meters to the left. Okay, so this is going to be seven times three minus three. Again, it's negative because it's three units to the left of the origin. Uh, for the second mass, you have four, gil four kilograms. Okay, and it's located two meters to the left of the origin. And then for mass three, we have three kilograms. It's five units to the right of the origin. And for mass four, it's eight kilograms. So eight times six. Okay. So taking the sum of those, okay, so that will give us a total of 34. So now we need the total mass. The total mass is just basically the taking the sum of the masses. So that's going to be M1 plus M2 plus M3 plus M4. And that gives us a sum of 22. So therefore, the center of mass, which is just a coordinate, is just a point in the system, not a coordinate, just a point because it's in one, one, it's one dimensional, will be 34, which is again is the total moment of this system, divided by the total mass. And that's going to simplify to 17 over 11. So that is the center of mass for this 1D system. And basic, basically that's where, that's the value that will make the system in equilibrium.